Hello and welcome to ESG TV, a regular series designed to keep you up to date on our newest content, all of which can be found on our website. I'm your host, Jennifer Dwyer. In order to accurately assess organizations' mobile computing adoption, strategies, and security, ESG recently surveyed more than 240 IT and security professionals working at enterprise-class organizations in North America, those with 1,000 employees or more. Those surveyed were responsible for mobile computing initiatives, operations, and security. The results of that survey are now available to ESG subscribers in a research report from Jennifer Gom, Bill Lundell, and John Oldzik entitled, The State of Mobile Computing Security. Other recently released content available to subscribers includes a research brief from Bill Lundell and Terry McClure on the demand for hybrid online file sharing solutions. The OFS market is rapidly maturing from file storage services for consumers to technology solutions that require features that effectively manage and secure business data. The demand is increasing for alternatives to the one-size-fits-all, cloud-based approach, especially among OFS users who currently leverage that deployment model. ESG subscribers can also check out two new briefs, including this one from senior analyst John Olczyk on the growing need for real-time and actionable security intelligence. ESG data indicates that many enterprise organizations are now using commercial threat intelligence to improve risk management. Recognizing this trend, new independent security intelligence services like those from Norse are starting to emerge. Enterprise organizations can use this type of focused data to make timely risk management decisions, automate security operations, and improve incident detection and response. In addition, senior analyst Mark Peters has released a brief on Forever Flash from Pure Storage, a collection of acquisition, maintenance and support, and non-disruptive system upgrade choices. This flexible arrangement between the vendor and its customers not only streamlines a traditionally complicated area, but also offers a choice between OPEX and CAPEX optimized approaches. Content available to all viewers includes this lab video summary on NetApp's FAS 2200 series with Flashpool. ESG Lab Senior Analyst Tony Palmer discusses ESG's testing and validation of this product, an entry-level platform targeted at the mid-market, branch and remote offices, and distributed enterprises. And finally, check out this lab validation report by VP of ESG Lab Brian Garrett and Lab Analyst Aviv Kaufman on Emerging Threats, Actionable Threat Intelligence with ET Pro Ruleset in IQ Risk Suite. The report presents the results of our testing of these products, which work in concert with Industry Standard Intrusion Detection Systems, or IDSs. The products provide actionable threat detection that reduces the risk of malware and increases the operational efficiency of the security team. You can find all of this content and a wealth of previously published blogs, research, and lab validations on the ESG website. If you are interested in our subscription-based content or have comments, feedback, or ideas for our program, just send us an email. And remember to check back for future updates at ESG TV. Until next time, I'm Jennifer Dwyer.